Today in my shop, we're working on my Atlas Clausing 6300 series lathe. I picked this up not too long ago, and it's been alright, but it's got some problems. Yep, we're going to have to work on the cross slide. And with a little luck, when we're all done, I'll be able to turn some parts again. So let's take a look at the parts diagram. This lathe is 60 or something years old, so some of my parts don't actually match what came from the factory or is in this illustration. Just back off the cross slide a little bit and the nut will disengage from the screw. Gently pull it out. Make sure you don't lose the gib there. And there's the nut, we'll replace that. It's held in by that Allen key. Five point five standard. Loosen those up. They came out pretty easy. No real struggle. Just a little paint on the outside. Maybe in another video I'll go through restoring other features of this lathe. Paint being one of them. It's not too bad, but could use some touch-ups, especially the bottom cabinet. You'll see in the the wider shots. We'll get those two out there. And the whole unit will slide out. You see the gear and the screw. Visually, you can't see if there's anything wrong with it, but I bet there's a lot of slot between the nut and the screw. Over here on my bench, we'll pull it apart using a 14 mil on the nut. I kind of think it's called a jam nut. And then behind that is the take-up nut. This ball crank's pretty worn and it looks like it's been threaded before, so I'll probably swap that with the other one on the machine and maybe make a new one in a future video. So here comes the hex jam nut. Just about off. Five mil, Alan. Yours might be different, who knows. It's a little tight, I'm gonna have to get some sort of pliers. I thought it was maybe the double set of Allen keys that were still grabbing it, but couldn't quite get it off by just loosening those alone. Try again here. Let me just grab some channel lock pliers. Little vice grips on the shaft of the uh, screw. I'm not too worried about damaging that piece. I'm going to replace it. Channel locks. Back it off a little bit. So tight and worn. Okay. So it's coming off now. There goes the take up nut, and then I'll pull off the uh, dial. Take it up. Dial. And then I'll pull off the bearing assembly. Alright. Cross slide. There's the little set screw I was talking about. I've been pretty lucky with these things, not getting stuck in there. And then the nut. Alright, let's thread her on. This is the old one. And we'll check if the play is coming from the nut. Probably worn uh, closer to the center where it gets a lot of use and wear. Not much play there. You can hear it. There's always going to be some play, but that's where it's coming from. It's hard to see in the video there. Here's the new one. 
Look at the difference. So you're still able to get these from Clausing. It's about uh, $300 US. It's pretty steep for us Canadians, but I think it's worth it in the end to have a nice lay. It took about six weeks to get in. I think they make them. A little bit of oil. I'm just using a spindle oil for now. Clean up the assembly on the carriage there. It's tight. Love tap. Okay, let's put her over there. Try not to mix up the, the screws. Just gonna have a look at each of these uh, bearings here for one. Make sure it's okay, it oiled up, there's no rough edges anywhere. Slides on pretty well. Then the dial. Take up knot. So I'm having problems with uh, threads on this. It looks like someone at one point re-threaded it. I don't particularly like this handle. It's not straight. It's a little small for a cross slide, I think. And uh, you'll see later, I end up switching it with the compound. But anyways, the threads are all cleaned up a little bit better now. Get her on there. I like to include uh, some of these shots in the video and some of the shots of me struggling to get these things together to give you some sense of how long it actually takes. Not a big fan of the speed up, quick cuts, and all the fancy transitions people use to showcase their in their tool videos. It just it gives a false sense of how long it actually takes. So you won't see that here on my channel. Okay. Let's get the assembly back in. All in all, the disassembly is a little bit easier since everything's come out. A little bit more of that spindle oil just helps it slide in. Main bolts. There's two. Just like when we took them out, reverse it. There isn't any torque settings in the uh, in the manual, so I'm just gonna give them a good amount with a small wrench, so they don't come out or walk or any play in there. Okay, now the cross slide. I'm just going to line her up as straight as I can and try and hold the gib with my right hand as I slide it in. Over to my hand belt control for my lathe, my VFD. I'll use a power cross side to feed it on. I forgot the uh, set screw at the back, so I'll get that in. I'll just snug it up with the, the Allen key set here. Now we'll check for play in the screw. Most of that's lateral play because I haven't tightened up the gib with the dog point set screws you can see there. Bought a whole new box. There need We need 10 in total for the uh, 
cross sliding compound slide. So basically I just pulled out the old ones, half of them were broken, rusted or stuck in, and there you can see cross is done. New nuts as well. Just make sure they're small enough so they don't hit the uh, saddle as they come across. So no real trick here, I start in the middle, snug them up one at a time, check for tension. There's a compound, one going in. I put the nut on. Not rocky signs. I picked up these uh, dog points at a local Brafasco. It wasn't very much. Maybe like uh, 25 bucks for the box. Anyways, we'll test her out here. Making some nice coils in the aluminum. By the third pass, the surface finish was really nice. Couldn't achieve that before. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box and I'll be sure to get back to you shortly. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll be bringing you lots of new videos in the future. We'll see you again in the shop.